After the ridiculous debacle of setting up a Samba server using Raspberry Pi Zero, I've decided to try and do it on an Android box. So this is just a very basic, cheap, quad-core uh, Android TV box. So, first things first, we're going to go into the Play Store. And we are going to download an app which um, is absolutely brilliant. There's quite a few different apps that do the same thing for Android in that they set up a, a Samba server. So the one, um, the one I'm going to use is quite, quite simply go into the search bar and type in Samba Droid or Druid as I've typed there. And when it loads up, just install the app by Berserker. I have no idea why it's got such low ratings to be honest because it's a great app. Um, so once we've waited for that to download which shouldn't take very long as the app's only 27 meg we will get cracking and we will set up a Samba server if you've not seen my um, my setting up of a Samba server using a Raspberry Pi then please do watch it it's quite comical I make quite a lot of mistakes and it takes an awful long time uh, so this is a lot more straightforward and is kind of a reflection of how much technology has moved on. I know the Raspberry Pis are quite new, but um, even still, people are creating apps for Android that just make the most difficult thing so simple. Ah, the, um, the Play Store's crashed, uh, as sometimes happens on this. Um, it's just because I've not got the uh, the latest Google Play services installed. So, um, yeah, just a few seconds left until this has downloaded, and then we'll get cracking. Nearly there. <laughs> At least this short amount of time waiting is not like it was frustrating um, when I was setting up a Raspberry Pi Samba server so I'm just gonna add um, no, it's not quite there yet it's just installing I'll just go back to the home screen and wait for the notification ah there we go successfully installed so we'll just add it onto the uh, onto the launcher and we'll open it up so I've I've actually paid for the uh, the pro version, but you don't you don't need that to get all this done. There's a few prompts. Just keep clicking OK. Very uh, Android four the uh, the layout of this app. <laughs> okay. So all literally all we need to do we just need to wait for it to uh, to initialize. So it'll take a while, but it doesn't. And just click on the hamburger at the top. And click on manage shares. And at the moment, there's one set up to share the SD card, so just remove that because we're actually plugging in an external hard drive into the USB port. So you can call it whatever you want. This is going to be the path when you mount the drive in Windows. So we're just going to call it shared drive. And then the path we choose is storage, and then that weird encrypted number there is the, the massive hard drive, and I accept that. Allow guests because we don't want to log in to uh, to get into it. You can set up passwords on this, but I'm not going to bother. Um, and then we're just going to set a couple of options. So it will tell you to support the application, but we're not going to. So we need auto start service and boot auto start to be selected. And now what this does, it means that whenever the apps open, it will launch the service, the Samba service straight away. And the other option is so that it will actually launch the app as soon as you get into Android on the device so there we go, we've got the name there of the server and that's that's basically it so we're just going to go into Windows just click on this PC Map Network Drive ah, just ignore that, that's just um, from when I was practicing doing it before so map network drive choose whatever letter you want and then you're going to type in slash slash samba droid 
backslash and then whatever you called your share. So I called it shared drive. Hit. Yeah, I put a space in it, didn't I? So uh, we're going to need that. So I'll put the space in and click finish. And a presto, we've got a Y drive that we can just access just like it's a normal drive. And that's it. Thank you.